Hello chums, welcome back to Shovel Knight episode 2. Last episode we kicked the ever living life out of King Knight. And, you know, once again we've got to make sure we put the campfires out and look after the forest, you know. Want no fires. It's a nice satisfying sound that. Oh, and much like Mario 3, random map encounters happen. Which do depend, or they alternate depending on where they are. So if there is one that appears on a previously completed level, you'll get put into a part of the level you didn't see before. And the challenge, the further you get into the game, ramps up quite a lot. Like you'll get some auto-scroll levels, you'll get some that are massively covered, uh, massive pits. Some with enemies that are, oh, didn't, uh, lovely. Some of the enemies that are quite hard to kill in the space you're given. Others that are just like this and it's just a very basic introduction into the bonus levels. Oh, it's nice and easy. Wasn't too hard to deal with, and you get a nice reward for doing it. Before I go anywhere, let's go and see the Travel King. Who you think? Oh, look at that! Oh my god, it's a big travel! <laughs> Who has awakened me, mortal? Dost thou need aid? Magical Icor, that's pronounced Icor! <laughs> Choose your icon wisely. I think I'm full up at the minute, so I need to quickly uh, drink my icor. Nope, wrong button. Nope, nope, sorry, nope, excuse me. I'm going to go jump over here. Yeah, cool, gulp that, lovely, thank you. Now I need some help. <laughs> now I would quite like so you get the magical, refills all health, becomes invincible, and absorb treasure, yeah. Now I'm not going to say anything for this next bit, I'm just going to let the screen do the talking. Because this is magical. <laughs> His face! But I, I do just want to say that you, you can't move during this bit, but you can bob along to the music. All this for a potion. And watch how he delivers it. That's, that's a face of nightmares, that. Can I swing my shovel? No. He just spits into a cup and I drink it. And no one bats an eyelid because it's a trowel. See what you can do, though. You can fish. And he gets very annoyed. What do you think you're doing, mortal? I'm eating an apple, sir. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, back to the village, or... No, I'm going to go straight to the Lich Yard. But they're a Spectre Knight. My favourite knight to play is in the DLC. Such a cool character. And again, my favourite song in the game. It's so good. Hit the tree, jump on the tree, watch out for the electric frog. Oh, no, that's not my flare wand. Flare wand. <laughs> so, again, it teaches you all these things. But doesn't make it too obvious, you know? Like, you think, yeah, I can bounce on that and grab the other gems, but that red gem's too high. But you hit it, and it floats. And you think, oh, right. Oh, electric frog! But once it's floating, you know, it stays there for a... Can't, like, it stays there for a... Nice amount of time. And you think, right, well, if I... Then you piece it together and you go, right, hit it. Pogo bounce. Look at that, you nailed it. And we... Electro frogs. Now, I do like that each stage has its own sort of hint. Like, you know, in Proudmoor Keep it was a, a sign of the king, but in the Lichyard it's just a skull. And it, I, 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 I want to try and stop saying, also, I like, but... Also, <laughs> I like that some of the background elements look like background elements, but they're not. You can bounce off certain things. I know I missed that goal up there, but hey-ho, we move on. Oh, do you think, okay, there's a, there's a, there's a, cloche. Oh, there's a bomb in it, but you can hit the bomb. And you see it blow up the environment, and you think, 
close can I hit and destroy? And you think, oh, okay, if that first one was a bomb, then this one's got to be nice. Nope! If you time it just right, though, and you can bounce off this skeleton if he comes over. Sir? Excuse me? I need your I need your body to bounce up here. No, nope. oh, that's going through them. Oh, you see? <laughs> you stopped debating me. Yeah, nailed it. I really need to start having a drink with me up here while I'm doing these because I've having to talk this much for this long, my throat gets very dry. So bear with me. Oh, that's better. So what we just learned with the skeleton you can bounce off, you see this guy. And you see this ladder. Ladder's too high to jump normally, but with a well timed bounce, you're really well on your way. And again you think, oh there's a skull. Look at the secrets. These ghosts chase you. But one one hit, you've got about five-ish seconds. Oh, the capture didn't show that. <laughs> That's cool. When you hit the ghost on the capture, it disappears. But what I'm seeing is the ghost flickering and out of existence. I suppose the frame rate just doesn't sync up right enough. Look at that, more secrets. But it's a skeleton. Bounce. Excuse me, ghost, sir. And you, sir. Lots of gold. Lovely. First mini boss is here. A big pile of bones. But if you could, oh, I was going to say, quick enough, you can just land on its head and just go for the multi bounce combo of death. Which is always fun to pull off. No secrets here. Did I mention this is my favourite song in the game? Because it is. Spoiler warning, I'm going to say that about every song. <laughs> because they're all so good. Give me. No. A little bit of Mario there for you. You can jump over the UI. And that may even come in handy. Ah, now this bit, one of my least favourites. The darkness and the flashing. Uh, so I might have to put a little warning. There is a lot of flashing lights here. Just in case, you know, you're sensitive to that. I don't want anyone to not have a good time watching this. But the flashes do last long enough for you can you can just about see what's around you. But at the same time, those flashes are very annoying. So let's get through this part quickly. Lovely. Checkpoint. Oh no, a bomb! Damn. And you see a skull. And you hit the skull. Oh, chicken! Now this, I believe, is where we get... Oh no, it's not. Okay. So again, it teaches you to bounce on things, but with the added danger of a ghost. And up here, you're relatively safe. But it doesn't mean the ghost isn't a threat. Because all it takes is one, one rogue hit for you to bounce off in a direction right into the water below. Now, the water and the spikes and most pits are all one-hit kills. Like, there's... Uh, well, I say that. Unless you've got previous hit damage and you're flashing with your invincibility frames. Spikes are a one hit kill. This bit takes a bit of setting up. If I recall rightly, you hit that, you hit it again, jump on that, bounce, bounce, bosh. More flashing lights coming up. With quite a perilous bit, you sort of have to rim, you need, sort of need to like nail it just like that. Lovely stuff. Whew. I know this bit that teaches you that skeletons with massive heads weigh quite a bit. Oh, and in as in most games, if you are caught between two things on a like that, where that skull is, you'll die. Like just straight up splat. Can be quite annoying in later levels, but again, you've been taught like you know to avoid it. And this frog apparently also keeps things down. And you got killed a skeleton. We go to ah! More flashing lights yet, but only half the stage this time. And it slyly hides some spikes in there. Like you can see the spikes here, but the spikes that are on this side. Sneaky. It's very sneaky. Okay, and also with the breakable blocks above this hovering platform. Smacky, 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 smack. Ah, now this bit. You see this platform and you think, oh, it's not moving. Then you see the skull that's on here. 
So you've got to like take that with you over to the other platforms to get it to fall so you can progress. It's very clever. Electric frog. Lump in the wall, smack that, cut the gems, bosh, whee! And instant two skeletons, but you can jump right over there. Aha, now this is where we get our new item from Chester. I have all the deals, yes. Yep. The phase locket. Brief invincibility. Even on spikes. And you see this little room down here with electric frogs and you think, ah, that's a lot to deal with. Instant invincibility for about 3-4 seconds. But, you know, it takes a good chunk of your magic away each time. So it's not a get out of harm free card because it's got a cost. But it's very handy to have nonetheless. It saved me lots of patches in my old playthroughs. And again, there's a scarlet there. A platform that sinks at a chest. So you bounce on this. Doesn't spawn a ghost, thankfully. Now this bit is clutch. Like you get. <laughs> I was about to say, you get to the point where you're just about to die, but I did. Let's try that again. <laughs> so, no so normally, you normally jump, so you're right against the wall, then you run, and even then you get to the point where you're just about to die. All through music sheet, but hey ho, what can you do, eh? Bounce, bounce. Oops, that was the wrong one. It'd have been a waste of my face looking like that. Pat, pat. Dig, 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 dig. So it's at this point, you see this little gravestone that you, you've you seen me bounce on. You think, why is it here? So you give it a go. And remember I said earlier, you can stand up, stand up on either. You can be on the UI. There you go, there's a secret. And you've got to run across <laughs> the UI interface. Very Mario 1-esque, isn't it? Uh, these are going to die as soon as they hit the water. Pop! And the platform is nice and safe now. Da -da -da -ba -da. I'm going to ignore that sparkling spot because I haven't got any space for an icor. And this bit, you think you're kind of stuck. Like there's this infinitely spawning ghost, and you think, right, let me grab those. Let me grab this. Let me grab these. Oh! Straight down to a mini boss. And you set, beautifully set up the down pogo death combo of death. Grab the magic, grab the health, grab the secret. There's a chest. Whoops, that was the wrong way. I had a mouthful of a drink. My throat is dry. A really easy setup with the flying bush to get you to the next checkpoint. More flashing lights, I think. Yep. Electro frog. Down he goes. More tight platforming. Pile of stuff to diggy diggy dig. Now, Spectre Knight, I am yet to defeat him first time. Every time I fought him, he's killed me. I'm wondering if this will be the run where I defeat him first time. Everyone who plays this on my recommendations, I say, um, they always tell me they're having a bit of trouble with Spectre Knight, and even I say, yeah, even the amount of times I've played this game, I am, I've never beat him first try. So, let's give it a go. This is going to be different. Such a cool character, I love him. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved shield knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally imagine Spectre Knight's got Palpatine's voice. So that I may take yours. Do it. Okay, right. First time, let's have him. Let's have him. Let's be cautious. He's going to throw his scepter. Get a bounce on the head. Flat wand. He dodged it expertly. I instinctively hit duck and all I do is squat. <laughs> Bosh. 
Oh, I've run out of magic power already. Great. He's going to appear above me. Oh. I was going for the no hit run, but I got a bit too overzealous. Okay, now he summons minions. Some of which drop magic power, which is handy. Oh, that one. Love it. Thank you. Oh, no! <laughs> oh! He also, at some point, does more flashing lights, so I'm going to have to put a bit of a chunky warning at the beginning of this, just to warn everyone. Because it does suck. Oh, am I going to do it? Oh, here come the dark lights. Okay. Uh, watch out for the septic. If I just stand my ground, it's going to appear above me. Oh, I beat you first time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. That's never happened. Oh, I'm very chuffed. That's very good. <laughs> I do believe I have to save Shield Knight. Yes, because that chest appears every time it happens. Good night, Shovel Knight. La la la, la la la, la la la. Save her. Or catch her, as it say. I should know. I really should know. Catch her. Catch her. Save! I was right, I was right the first time. And now we get enemies that will hinder me, but they're all enemies that I've seen before. But they drop a lot of money. So it's a good incentive to attack and kill them, but stay somewhat close to the middle. So I'm ready to catch Shield Knight. Now I've never died in this stage, but I don't know what happens. But there she is! And now in this red chest, once I put the fire out, safety in that, there is a voucher for some more health. Lovely. Let's go back to the village. And with that, I unlock the second part of the map. Unveiling Plague Knight, Mole Knight and Treasure Knight stages. Oh, this is what I meant earlier about the uh, random map encounters appearing on maps. So, here we go to Auto Scroller, part of Pride More Keep that we didn't see before. Which, again, there's no penalty for going quick. But it does almost reward you for overtaking the auto scroll and then grabbing treasure on different layers, if that makes sense. I'll show you. So let's let it catch up a bit. The bubbles all appear. That you can you can choose which one to go to. So if you're quick enough, you can grab these gems and run back up and get the rest of the treasure. And again, if you're quick enough, you can get them both. Run back down here, grab what's in here. Bada boom, one up there. Can't get that, I don't think. Oh well. But this time it's got a little bit of Plague Knight in it with the, the bouncy tree floaty thing. It's all very clever. It's all very clever. And you get a lot of treasure for it, so. Which then means you can head back to the village and buy some more things. So, first things first, let's go and give the barb man his music for some more money. Whoa, he's got seven music sheets. Wonderful. Okay, so let's give my meal ticket to this man. Give me some more health. Lovely. La la la. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know what that is. Um, but it must be tasty. So now I have relics. More magic. Let's get another one of them. I've got enough money. Another one of those. Can I buy a meal ticket? Uh, yeah, why not? More health is always good. Making me some food, thank you very much. What's it going to be this time? Maybe a nice Big Mac? Nope, it's an entire pig. Nope, no, oh, yeah, okay. So let's go and see Chester, see what else I can buy from him. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I like Croker. With some horse adventures, but they're all, they're all so negative. <laughs> hey Chester, what you got for me? What you got? Chaos Sphere. I never usually use this, but it's always good to have. It's, it's a ball that will rebound off any surface. But it doesn't last particularly long. So let's head 
to the new... That's not new as it was there before. And so each area, in air quotes, of the map have almost bonus stages, like the little diamond in the bottom here, the Forest of Phasing. And they revolve around a certain item. So the Forest of Phasing, you may think Phase Locket. And you see spikes. With the Phase Locket, you can walk right over them, it's fine. I think there's three, maybe four of these in total, that you can practice items that are a bit... I don't want to say difficult to use, but... Situation was the wrong word as well. I don't really know how to describe it, but items that... You might not normally get a chance to practice or use in the stage you get them. But, again, it's a very, very smart way of teaching the player about these items. And there's even secrets here. Jump on spikes, grab the gold. Lovely. Oop. Grab the gold, grab the money. Yeah, it doesn't last too long, so you've got to be quick with it. Oh, no, I want that. Okay, grab that, let you, let you. Whee. What about these things are so annoying? But this is a level where you can practice invincibility, so it's not a big deal. Now this bit, if you're good enough, you haven't even got to use the bucket, you can just bounce off the uh, bounce off the slime. But as you may have seen, I'm not the best at this game, so <laughs> Okay. Let's go and see Plague Knight. The first of the uh, three DLC nights. And again, with the best song in the game. I, I just can't explain how much I love this game. Like, you may have sort of figured it out by the amount of gushing we did episode one. But it's just so well constructed and so easy to play, the controls are so simple, you know, you've got A is jump, X is attack, hold up with X to do your uh, other attack, it's just so good, so good. So the sort of reason I picked Shovel Knight to play is because it is one of my favourite games of all time and I know it inside out, so I sort of thought that would be easy watching if that makes any sort of sense, because I was saying to some friends. Like, if I sit and watch someone play a game, I want to watch them play it, you know? Like, I don't want to sit and watch them go through pain while playing it, you know? Like, if I was to sit and watch someone play Shovel Knight, I'd want to see them... Because everyone plays things differently, obviously. Like, there's no right or wrong way of playing this. I want to see it be done... <laughs> better than that. I want to see it be done better than that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I want to see it be done somewhat well. Uh, so saying that as I died to a stupid <laughs> mistake. <laughs> a bit hypocritical of myself. But, you know, at the same time, a flawless playthrough. Would that be entertaining? I know some people want to watch that. But, I don't know. As you've seen with how I play Pokemon, flawless is not how I do things. <laughs> That's still a sore subject, I'm still so upset. <laughs> For a little bit of a behind the scenes, if that's the right word, or like behind the view, behind the curtain. Uh, as I'm recording this, I have just lost my Pokemon run. Uh, so I need to put this out after Pokemon, as to not spoil everything. But yeah, <laughs> still sad. These explodey rats are very annoying to fight, but they can be used to your advantage. For example, I messed that up. There's a ladder there, but... Oh, I've messed everything up. Christ. That's a shame. I think there's a music note up there. I don't think I can get back to up there to reset the room. No. Oh, well. What was I saying about flawless runs? <laughs> how, I don't do, how I don't do them? I oh, see these blocks, different to the regular ones. They There's no bounce. You just fall straight through them. So they're like... Dust. Nice bit of dust. But again, you're taught about them in a controlled environment, so there's no risk of dying to them. And I think later on the level you are shown them over pits, so it's a bit more scary. This thing's scary. The mouth on that thing, good god. Hoppity hoppity hop. 
Kill it! Okay. And then we're shown some platforming that shoots you up with spikes above your head. Which will kill you in one hit. So you've got to be careful. But you do have... You, you live there. But I have got the... Ah, oh, missed it up. No. Uh, oh, oof, made it. Secret. A secret that you very much need the face locket for. Because that bottom row sucks. Oh, and this guy... The uh, knights are all different colours. Like the green ones, for example, will do the shovel knight down pogo stab combo of death. What do I get here? Oh, don't I get the chaos orb here? Oh no, the alchemy coin. Bit of a weird one, the alchemy coin. You chuck a coin, it does damage and drops a load of money. I want to kill this guy, he's really annoying me. But again, with the floor that drops fire, it's a bit... Oh, thank god he's dead right. So we just run forward, drop a coin. Drop a coin to your mouse man. Oh! oh I thought they died. <laughs> Is that a noise a fearless knight should make? Now, we've seen nothing but nice things come out of these piles of dirt, but until this time... Oh, I was wrong. There's one of them that uh, an enemy pops out of them. But it wasn't that one. I'm not even going to try and describe what this is. Um, I'll leave it down to your guys' imagination. I think it's a spider with the bucket on its back, shooting out fruit pastels, but I'll not let you guys decide on that. Checkpoint! More explodey rats. I messed up for one of these gems, but obviously not. Oh, birds drop stuff. Now, these entire platforms are destroyable. Oh! So the pogo bounce is dangerous here. See? <laughs> ah, but wait, hold on. How do I get there again? Oh, I know. There's, I think you've got, I've got to bounce off of this guy. Yeah. Or you could drag this guy over and bounce off his head. But that's tough and time consuming. Oh, and again, it just, it just it introduces things to you in such a pace that you don't even know they've been introduced. Like the rocks that take three hits to break, as opposed to the one-hit breaks of everything else. Mini boss. Very much like Embryo from Crash 1. Can I hit these back? No, not back at him, but I can him. Now, easiest way to deal with it. Down-stab pogo combo of death. With an occasional flare wand combo. Ooh. And when he's a poor old man, you do the same thing. You just bounce on his head. Bounce, bounce. No, you dead yet? No, you're gonna die. Oops. Okay, now he dies. <laughs> and he spits out a whole chicken. Let's consider it. Let's have a drink. Sorry. Checkpoint, lovely. Very Mega Man esque, these uh, flame platforms. I think they're from Mega Man 7? I could be wrong, I'm not too hot on Mega Man. I played 7 the most. No, I played 2 the most, I had it on my phone for a while. So playing Mega Man on a phone with touch screen controls is difficult. I couldn't even get past Flame Man's uh, appearing, disappearing block part. Perhaps hard. Secret! Is this the mole one? No, another carrot. I don't like that mouth. I really don't like that mouth. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I panicked. I thought, right, I could jump above that and, and, and like, time it, but no. I was wrong. Apple. Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, now's a good time to tell you. If you die whilst there's money still in the air, first money disappears. So I suppose that is punishment for dying again. A bit frustrating, but the amount of money you do end up with, do end up with in the game is a lot. So towards the end, it doesn't matter too much, but it still sucks. 
Especially when it leaves you like a little bit short from an item you want or an upgrade you want. These things, I just, oh. right, okay. Time in, time in, time in. Lovely. Oh, I'll have a carrot. Thank you. Nope, scary, scary cat mouth fly thing. I don't even know what that is. Right, so I'm jumping all wrong. Look at that. Secret! Now you don't need the phase locket here. It's all about timing. But I suppose you could just cheese it. That's a lot of money. You could just cheese it and phase lock it, but it feels nicer to nail the timing. No, 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 die. More timing. Oops, I did completely wrong. Oh. Uh. Down, lovely. Jump off, lovely. Oh. Oh, for good. Okay, there we go. Oh. Right. Did you enjoy that expert? Expert play there. <laughs> that could be fun to watch in the edit. I wonder what future me will say about me. Chicken! And those slimy shovel knights. That's, I don't really know what else to say about them. <laughs> it's me, but I'm made of slime and die in one hit, and they just I don't like how they move. Is this the mole one? One of these in this stage has a mole in it, and it makes me jump every time. Ah, oh, I missed it. Now these guys can do the down pogo step, like that, see? Which is a touch frustrating, but <laughs> when that happens it's funny. Can't do it again. Oh! Oh, there's the buck- oh. <laughs> Bucket spider fruit pastel monster got me. Future me, make an edit of a bucket fruit pastel spider. Even though we don't like spiders, do it. <laughs> do it. Make sure it's the right fruit pastels, yeah? There's a little bit of me that is quite concerned that I am talking to myself in the future. And that future me, when he edits these, will be responded to something I say a few days prior. Or whenever it is I decide to edit this. It'll be... Maybe a few days after po <laughs> after Pokemon's oh, for God. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I need to finish this level. Really, really need to lose. <laughs> but yeah, once I've defeated Plague Knight, I'll call it there, and I'll hit would have hit my quota for two bosses per video. I do think that the, the Tower of Fate is going to be its own video because that is. A long old string of, string of levels there. Oh, I can bounce up there, can't I? Of course. If I bounce off this chunk of rock, I can then land on the on the uh, dirt blocks. Oh. Bye. Bye. Right, now, uh, right, I'm going to avoid them this time. Oh, yeah, nailed it. Oh, no! Right, okay. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Ba, 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 ba. All right, here comes the Plague Knight fight, one of the trickiest. But with a well-placed flare wand, we should be good. Down we go! Hee <laughs> hee, leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight, you, your trickery will will not stop me. The fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom! Hee 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 hee! Now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise it will be enlightening. His sprite here is way bigger than he is when you can play as him. Which I kind of get, because it's got to be difficult to animate everything, especially when you're playing as him, but I just think it's funny that normally he's, when you play as him, he's the same sort of size as Shovel Knight. Oh, this is the best song in the game, by the way. <laughs> There's so much going on, oh my god. And what's good is that the moves he's doing 
are the things you can do when you play as him, like summoning these like vats. You get that when you play as him. And it's so cool. They could have easily made a generic air quotes moveset for him, but they made it so well. Another night down. Lovely stuff. And this is, yeah, no shield night. All right, chums, we're leaving this episode here. Once again, thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.